Hello everybody and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Uh oh, it's a bit laggy right now. Uh in today's episode we will be doing the flower dance. Which should be fun. And I actually got Leah up to four help parts in between episodes. So, uh, if I just check the calendar, to, not today, tomorrow's the flower dance. But also, I got Leah up to four hearts, so... Oh, strawberries are ready. Don't think I'm gonna get another harvest, am I? Oh yeah, we'll get another harvest, so might as well keep them around. I don't think I would have gotten another harvest if I had uh, planted more strawberries if I had processed them, so I'm going to wait till next spring for that. Or, who knows, maybe I'll get the greenhouse before then. I will, actually. As long as I rem Oh wait, no I won't. Well... Realistically, all I need to do is get flower pots. And I can't remember what the condition for flower pots is. If I need the greenhouse for flower pots, then uh, oops. Because I don't have enough time to, uh, to plant uh, the crops I need for the greenhouse thing in the community center, which I just realized we haven't actually done anything with the community center. <laughs> We're almost at the end of spring and we've done nothing. We are not being very productive. Excuse me. It should be... I, I should note that usually I am actually on top of the community center, but I guess this time round we're gonna get in year two. It's a shame because the greenhouse would be very handy. Yeah, by the way, I've just been doing potato farming off camera. And I should have been also doing a bit of uh, other gardening. I think I'm actually am going to go to Pierre's and get the crops I need. I believe we need a bunch of parsnips for the gold parsnips. We need five gold parsnips. And then a, nor a parsnip, a cauliflower... I believe a potato, so we got that covered. And something else. I never remember it. I mean, I'm sure we'll see it today. Did I put the cat? I think I did. Yeah, let's head over to Leela's. Oh, right, we get a heart of it. <clears throat> Let's see what voice I'll give her today. <clears throat> Kel, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't want to come back to the city. Stop calling me. I don't want to hear from you anymore. Quick. I don't know why I said quick. <laughs> Hippo eaters. So I guess you heard me yelling on the phone? That was my ex. I guess I'd better tell you a little about it. We had an apartment together back in the city. I did odd jobs during the day and spent all night working on art projects. We barely made by enough to scrape by. He was always nagging me to get back to school and study business or medicine. Something with a lot of money in it. I guess the idea was to save up for a normal life. You know, 
a house in the suburbs, kids, PTA meetings, that sort of thing. I wasn't ready for that kind of life, hippo eaters. I had to leave, so I came here to pursue my dream of being an artist. Was that selfish of me, hippo eaters? And we get a lot of options, but only a few of these are good. I think only really one is. No, it had to be done. You're right. I just wouldn't have been happy back there. It was better for both of us to end an unsustainable relationship while we were still young and flexible. Anyway, I've been thinking a little more about that art show idea you had. I'm working on some new sculptures to display at the show. I'm nervous, but th the thought of getting my work out there is pretty exciting. I'm just glad you're on board with me. Stardew Valley, a premium art destination, hippo eaters. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I've given her both her gifts this week. Hi. Oh, you want to talk? The landscape around here gives me a lot of ideas that the terrain is almost like a sculpture itself. I don't make art for money. It's just an urge that I have. Farming seems like a very rewarding profession. You get to create delicious food for everyone. You're probably busy. Sorry. I mean, technically I am, but I always have time. Might as well grab some more water while I'm down here. If I get lucky, maybe there, there'll be some fish in my watering can, and I can use some fertilizer. <laughs> oh, by the way, I did make some quality fertilizer. Uh, it's quality fertilizer is just too sap or not quality fertilizer is it quality fertilizer basic fertilizer quality fertilizer is a sap and a fish yeah, the basic fertilizer just gives you a slightly higher chance I believe it was like 10% chance better chance of getting higher quality things so Okay, I'm gonna need to eat some more salmon berries, which I did get a lot of in between episodes. I think we're almost done. I do need to head and years to make sure I get the um, the crops I'm gonna need for the greenhouse so I guess first off ooh, we actually <laughs> uh, we're gonna need to do a lot so uh, actually hold on a minute I'm just gonna look up on my phone real quick with what I need. if I look up bundles bundles so alright 
pantry. All right, green bean. That's the last one. Probably could have just gone to Pierre's and just seen it. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, let's go over to Pierre's and get that. And then I'm going to start the community center quest line. And, all right, we need a parsnip, a green bean. Yeah, we could get the parsnip, but we can't get, I don't think we can get the green bean or, yeah. We'd be pushing, well, no, we wouldn't be pushing our looks, it just wouldn't be possible. Oh, right, we're gonna go start the community center. And it was a potato, right? Just, yeah. So, lovely. So now that I've seen this lovely text, we should get a, te a text. Um, a, uh, mail, bit of mail from the wizard. And thankfully, because I've been keeping all of my forageables, we're going to be able to do the first bundle really easily. Because uh, it's a dandelion, a leek, a horseradish, and a daffodil for the spring bundle, foraging bundle. Tomorrow we're all getting, oh yeah, see, told you, flower dance tomorrow. Alright, well, I'm going to actually go ahead and plant the parsnip, the only thing that will be done. Oh wait, actually we needed more than one parsnip. And we need to fertilize them. I'm going to get 20 parsnips. Twenty extra parsnips, that way... I basically guarantee that I'll get five gold ones. If I don't, well, it's not like I can finish this year anyway. It's not likely. I would have to get the red cabbage anyway to get the greenhouse, so... It's usually a year two thing anyway. A year or two summer thing, I might add. It's not end game per se, it's just pretty late game. Right, where is this? That would be in the yellow chest. That's not crafting. There we go. some berries and let's see yeah. there we go and thankfully we've already proven that we can water all this in time However, I'm going to do something very interesting. I'm not going to water the crops at all tomorrow. I just find that it'd be way too stressful. And I have more than enough time for one harvest of the strawberries and all the potatoes will be done. So we can go ahead and skip a day where it will be fine. 
Yeah, we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and put away the things. Check that. Yeah. We can't, unfortunately, we cannot talk to the wizard right now. And, well, maybe we can. Can we get there in time? If we get. No. You can get past the whole festival barriers if you get into the area before 610. So, I mean, I don't think I can go in there right now. Yeah. If you get in there at 6 a.m., yeah. But like I said, I'm not even going to try to water these crops. Now, I'll water the parsnips and strawberries. How about that? But the potatoes are fine. This way I can get rid of the strawberries a bit earlier. Because once I harvest them next time, I'm going to just get rid of them. Again, because I'm not allowing myself to use the mod anywhere, anytime. But, you know, it's still there, so... Can't exactly disable it as far as I know. I need to look into that if there's a way to disable it without uninstalling it every time. I mean, that is an option where I can just uninstall it temporarily and then reinstall it later. Oh yeah, I guess I should mention that I did a lot of clearing off camera as well. I completely cleared this side of the map. That's what I should be doing. I should be clearing that side. What am I doing? I am wasting time is what I am doing. Besides, we need to make sure that this grass doesn't get into the weeds. Our weeds? Our, our crops. We need to make sure the weeds don't get into the crops. And yes, I did install a mod that gives me the correct attire. Alright. I didn't realize it would make me wear it during this part, but eh, whatever. Anything here we want? I kind of want that, but... I really want that, but not this. Not, not this year. <laughs> Maybe next year I'll get it. Yeah. I guess there's not really much I can do. Could show you all the unique dialogues, but uh to be honest, it's not that exciting. Hi Hippo Ears, glad to see you here. Yes? You want me to be runner for the flower dance? Okay, I'd love to. Do that Oh, yeah, it gave me one extra heart. And I think the actual dance itself, because I could technically just leave now. Which would be a mean thing to do after asking someone. Uh, did I... Oh, okay, I guess I accidentally hit yes. <laughs> and... Yeah, I'm not skipping this. Enjoy. Right, I turned off the music. <laughs> I've never actually seen this event without music. This is, um... This is weird. I don't like it. Oh, 
I want the music back, please. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I keep the music. All oh, right, because my voice isn't that loud, and I don't want it to. Yeah, that was fun. Time to go home. Oh, oh, it does only give you one extra heart. Ah, I thought I gave you more. Oh well. When it gave you more, is that one of the mods doing that? Yeah, whatever. Put away my tools and go to bed. <clears throat> I forgot to water the cat's bowl. All right. Now today. We are going to do stuff with Rasmodius and finally do the community center. Because honestly, it's been. What? Didn't I just. Couple more days and the parsnips and potatoes will be ready. Everything's lined up perfectly. Wait, yeah. Everything actually has lined up perfectly. Everything will be ready on the same day. Meaning in two days. Tomorrow's the last watering day. Maybe it'll rain tomorrow. Maybe I'll get lucky. Probably not. Any days after tomorrow that rain is useless. However, I think this means I can upgrade my watering can soon. I think I want to upgrade my hoe first. Oh, so. Nah, I want to upgrade my watering can first, definitely. And I got the extra money to do that. Just, I really, really don't want to spend all that much money if I don't have to. I'm also going to be trying to do a lot of mining off camera, so... So we, I've got a lot to do, and by the end of spring, I'll have done a lot. I don't, obviously, I won't have any of the... I won't get any more bundles done off camera because uh, I won't be able to. Next time I record will be the end of spring. So, we will be beginning in summer. I never have enough water. Ever. Is there a hole in the bottom of my watering can? That's where it runs out, like, so fast. I guess this is the most basic tier of watering can, though. Some upgrades I really can't wait for, though, is uh, the tractor, which is going to be one of the things I, uh, uh, is going to be one of the upgrades, uh, I do once a month type thing. Sort of like my super speed I have. And actually that brings up a good point is I would love for you guys to give suggestions on what you think 
my next power up should be I'll show you which ones will be available at the end of the video because next time you're not going to be able to choose because I will be going into summer next video so I'll show you your options uh, I'll show you them now alright so instant weapon cooldowns the most useful of the bunch obviously <laughs> um, max daily luck uh, let's see what else infinite watering can is probably the most useful of the year ones I can get um, then let's see anything in here uh, infinite hay yeah, that's not going to be very useful in year one, though. Um, instant bite always is throw max distance. And I think that's it for that. And I think that's actually... Oh, yeah, freeze time inside. So only indoors, nowhere else would be one and nothing in there and that's it that is all the options so if you do choose choose wisely I already know just by asking you guys that one person it only takes one will say instant weapon cooldowns and I can already see it. Oh well. Yes, thank you for watering the ground. Alright. But, here we go. Now... Let's see, what do I need to do? Right. So let's grab one of each of these. And then go to Resmodius. Talk to him. Now we've met every villager, by the way. Aside from... Uh, two of them, but, well, three of them, actually. We haven't met, no, f well, yeah, there are still four people we need to meet, but we've met everyone in the, in, uh, the village, the normal people, I guess you would say. All right. I am Resmodius, seeker of the arcane truths, mediary between physical and ethereal, master of the seven elements. Isn't one of those elements bacon? No, wait, wrong game. Keeper of the sacred chair. You get the point. <coughs> and you, happy. <laughs> no, just kidding. And you, Hippo Eaters, the one whose arrival I've long foreseen. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold. Not really giving enough oomph to this guy. Yeah, 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 you're torturing the guy. You've seen one before, haven't you? They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits. These ones, for some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Probably because you captured them. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but they... But you have no reason to fear them. You 
found a golden scroll written in an unknown language. Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. Eh, guess I'm alone. Nope. Oh. Uh, I didn't touch anything. I found the note. language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. I think it was a grocery list. Oh wait, we the Jumnamo are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. What do they mean? Ha! <sighs> Come here. You brought me to your laundry? My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest baby fern, marsh grub. Caramel top toed stools. Can you smell it? Yeah, it smells like vomit. Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Oh, do I have to? Okay. Oh, I think I'm gonna die. Oh, that's. <laughs> Seeing some weird stuff, man. Uh, <sighs> well, anyway, now that we've gone through that acid trip, let us go to the community center. It wouldn't surprise me if canonically after that point we are dead. But nevertheless, we move on. Alright. And now that we've talked to the wizard that gave us drugs, we can see bundles. Oh, actually, now I guess I could complete the construction. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Uh. Yeah, I don't think I can technically. Well. Let's see. Could get lucky with those three. Uh. I don't know if I have the taps or not. I probably. I can easily get cave carrots from the caverns. But, uh, spring bundle. These don't have to go in that order. I just like doing it that way. And then you get a reward. I don't think we can actually use the spring seeds. Though. So. Alright, and, uh, as you complete bundles, new... You'll get one or two new things. It, it, it has a pre-programmed order. It's not random or anything. So this time we got two bundles, I believe. Next time we get... And then av every time after this we get one bundle. I guess we can do fishing to get more bundles, but... Yeah, see? This is the what we're supposed to do. But if we go do summer... Oh, wait. Was it not this one? Can we get this year one? Well, I mean, I probably can't, but... Oh yeah, no, it wasn't this that needed the red cabbage, it was... Right, right, there's a bundle right here that requires a red cabbage, but for now, there's this... These bundles, which I 
don't remember if there's any of these I can do during exclusively spring. I don't think there is. I'll definitely be trying to get them done, though. And but off camera, I'll try to collect the fish. But I guess with that being said, I'm gonna do... S Why did that... Was there a heart event that I missed? What, what was that? Uh, <laughs> that's kind of scary. Oh, you know, maybe I can do a bit of the Adventures Guild now. Because I think I only need to... Hold on. Uh, Jody wants a cauliflower. That's not going to happen this year. Yeah, I need to kill four more green slimes to get into the guild. So I guess we can do that today. And then we can actually, you know, go into the guild and get a better sword. Alright. Because I'll be honest, this rusty old sword's not doing me many favors. We don't need to mine, we just need to kill slimes. Technically, I do have the power to spawn mobs in, but uh, we're not doing that because that's cheating. What is with the lag today? Die, 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 die. No, 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 die. Die 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 go into the guild, I believe, unless there was something else. No. Yep. Now we just go into the guild. I don't think it's too early. Oh, no, it's not. Alright. And then, yeah. Not doing that one yet. Not doing Jody's request yet. We obviously can't do that one yet. Because <laughs> that's just going to take too much time. Yeah, while I'm here, I think I'm long overdue for an upgrade. There we go. And now I'm going to go... Oh, I don't have enough time to upgrade my hoe today. Ah. Well, alright. How much... Oh, yeah, I wouldn't have had very much time at all. So tomorrow, I'm going to upgrade my watering can, so I'll pick it up on the 28th. But, uh, yeah. I think, with that being said, that is basically it for today. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? No. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the episode off there. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.